Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we are currently working our way through our mission here, Pearl of Contestania. We're working on upgrading Mentessa into a city right now and that'll be absolutely fine. We're of course going to need some training camps in Mentessa and we'll see what we end up going for with the other buildings but i suspect we know what that's going to be it's going to be if we come up over here we can hop over this way and it's going to be forums right we're going to want freeman for sure so forums and training camps is the way that's going to go we'll want at least like four building slots there i'm not sure how many we're going to have but we'll see who are these guys oh down over here I don't think that matters. Okay, so we're going to proceed here. Carthage is probably going to be an issue, but I want to get our economy a little bit more online before we really start considering attacking Carthage. We also need to do some securing of this area up over here. Tindaria, huh? Okay, that's these guys over here. We declined that too. We don't really care about that. That's completely okay. So we're waiting at this point to upgrade this into a city. That is going to be relatively high priority. That's what we need our political influence for. So that's all looking good. Beyond that, do we need other political influences for this mission tree? Expand trade in Carpatania. Actually, two local city building slots there. Invest in three new trade routes in Carpatania. Okay, we can definitely work on that. This is going to need to be a city. Okay. And it's going to need three libraries? Interesting. And then that'll just take time to do. No problem there. And then we're going to need a great temple there, as well as the three libraries. Sure. And we can only do one of these, it looks like. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to need a decent amount of political influence out of this then. We're going to need at least 100 political influence to make this happen. We're probably going to need to get additional trade imports over here. So, we do have two free province investments right now. Do we wait until these are available here? And, until this mission can be, can be done? I don't know. I don't think we have to, but maybe just to be safe, we should. So we know we need a city here and a city here. Or no, it was a city here and a city here. Okay. So that should be reasonably fine. Wait, this is already a city? This is a city. Ah, okay. That actually saves us a lot of political influence. I did not realize that this was a city, but it definitely is. Beautiful. So we need three libraries here then. We'll get those going right now. We've got the cash. We're going to need a Grand Temple here eventually. We don't have the building slots for it. We would need six pops there to get the building slots. Or we could, of course, put in a province investment. But we only have two free province investments right now. We probably want to be a little bit careful with that. So we're going to need libraries here. We're going to want a Great Temple. And then ultimately, we're going to want three academies. That's a lot of necessary building slots over here. For now, that's kind of a medium-term goal, right? That'll be fine for the moment. So we'll be able to expand this out immediately. That's looking good. Yeah, that just takes time. Local research points plus 15. So I'm glad we made this into a research city. No doubt about that. We could also build up a couple of additional libraries here to give additional research point output here. What is our current research point output? 83%? Yeah, we could definitely work on that. So we'll get those queued on up. Looks absolutely phenomenal. We've still got about a year until Mentessa is done here. It's going to be a while before we've got the political influence to upgrade this into a city. This is currently a tribal settlement here, which is solidly mediocre. Okay, looks good. I think we can make our way through this tree relatively quickly here. Definitely. So we're going to need at least one building slot over here. Ideally, th would be four building slots. Four building slots would be ideal. 
Of course, for that, we're going to need like 40 or rather 36 additional pop here. Which we're not going to have the pop cap for that, at least not for a while. We'll see what ends up happening with that. For now, this will do. I want to check down over here, which is also set up as a research city, but it's a really, really mediocre one. Okay. Are those our only cities? Local population happiness. Sure, we'll take that. So we have a scorned family here, and we do need to put in a new governor here. We'll put in this guy. That might be the old guy. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Well, actually, we probably won't see. So we have five out of six buildings here. So we definitely put in a tax office here. Five out of, out of six here. So a tax office goes in there as well. Magnificent. So that's looking phenomenal. What else do we need? We've got this city over here, which is a really, really awkward city. No doubt about that. Really awkward indeed. We have an election soon. That's fine. We're going to get the growth of Mentessa done in 140 days. When is this election going to happen? To November? Okay, that's like next month. Sure. But that's fine. We're not too concerned about our election here. We're at 71% senatorial support at this point. And we'll see what that's like after this election. Losing approval from oligarchs and Democrats. We also already don't have approval from oligarchs and Democrats. <laughs> I don't think this matters. So that's absolutely fine. This guy is now in charge with the objective of ensuring calm. Okay, we do need to put in a sensor, and that will be this guy. Cool. So things are looking pretty decent as far as our Senate support goes. Nothing too major there. We're going to get these libraries done fairly soon, but what we need more than anything is this city done, right? That's the top priority right now. And then we're going to need to put in two training camps. That's pretty free. We'll be able to get that done really, really simply. Okay, so the head of the Da Vici family died. That's, I'm sure, unfortunate for him. But here we go, Mentessa. Let's go. These are the best of times indeed. So we're going to put in two training camps here. And we're also going to put in two forums here, I think. We don't need anything else for building slots here, right? Right. Okay. So two forums go in. We can do one right now. And then the other one we'll get before the rest of these are done. So that's all looking good. I don't know why this is negative here. It, it, it'll go away. Perfect. So we have some disloyal provinces at this moment. I'm a little surprised this one is disloyal, actually. It's because of our stability. That's why it is. Okay, fair enough. Our stability is giga low right now. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be working its way back up. And our aggressive expansion is, of course, still on the way down. As is our tyranny. So we need to give time for all of this to rest, right? We're under war exhaustion still as well. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Three stability and ten loyalty, or six stability, and minus a little bit of omen power and religious tech investment. I'm going to take the three stability for now. Three stability will be very helpful. That will slow down these losses of provincial loyalty, at least. So that'll be good. We'll get these training camps done here. We can build a forum here soon. Next month, Dick. There we go. And this is actually four out of five now. That's perfect. We can get our third forum here. I love it. So that is absolutely great. Oh, uh, we should definitely complete Growth of Mentessa. There we go. So that got us, I think, a couple of pops there. And then Lobotania Garrisons will be great. That'll also give us a free province investment, which is important. Now, Granary of Contestania is going to need to happen here. At this point, I want to get this third forum queued up. And then we absolutely need to be saving up for our city here. We might not have the cash for that immediately. We'll see. We're at 44 political influence right now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have the cash for it immediately. Maybe we get this going first and then get this forum. That might be the best bet here. Now that I think about it. 
These guys are thinking about breaking their alliance with us. Okay. They can do that if they like. For the moment, I'm very interested in internal investments. How much is the city status going to be? 200 gold? Yeah, I think we save up for now. We build this first, and then we build this forum. That's the way that's going to go. We should have about the right amount of gold. I just want to get this going as soon as possible. And then we're going to need 600 gold beyond that, right? This is going to have, like, granaries in it, though. I don't love that. Yeah, just two granary buildings. I'm not sure what else we'll put in there. It's going to be weird. Okay, next month tick, we'll have both the political influence and the gold. Let's get this going. Oh, we can gain 20 gold, two citizens. We're going to gain the two citizens. Thank you very much. That'll be phenomenal. And we'll get this city going. How rude. Rome is being a jerk. And yes, we'll found our city here. Wonderful. So we now can make the Lobitanian garrisons. Carpetania gains a free province investment. Sounds good. And then we're going to go for Granary of Contestania next. So we need to let this construction finish. So that buys us time to get this forum underway. So as soon as we have 150 gold, we'll do this. We are currently three months away from that. Okay. I want to check in on some of these other cities. Yeah, they broke their alliance. I'm not surprised about that. Checking in on some of these other cities. I believe that they are full on building slots at this time, and that is indeed the case. Cool. We do have a civil war brewing up here, and that is mostly due to this guy. Okay, we have the orator or silver-tongued trait, so we can actually persuade this guy for only 15 political power. That's not bad. Consider that done, but he's still at 25.3, so we may need to give him free hands here. What is the corruption drop? Okay. He's going to have corruption building up. He is 64, though. So he's not going to stay alive for too much longer. Where is this? Is it in Carmoya? The guys that just broke their alliance with us? Okay. Three pops would die. They'll have to fix their own problems, I'm afraid. This is in Aporka? I don't think we control anything in Aporka, right? No, this is in Aporka. Carpetanian. Okay, that's this city here. We're going to have three pops die any way we slice it. So, the question is... Okay, this is just a longer period of time. We'll help those in Neva. Okay. So, we'll do that for now. Unfortunate that that's going to delay our construction of this forum... But it should be okay. Oh, hey, a minor addendum. Beautiful. Ten political influence, yes. But we don't need additional political influence at this time. I mean, it's useful. But we don't need 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 it to progress down our missions. I'll take the six stability. Beautiful. That's going to help our provincial loyalty quite a lot. And, of course, our war exhaustion is about to go away. So that's very, very solid. So what are we actually at here? 0 0.19, 0 0.17, 0 0.28. Yeah. We've got some work to do yet on that. No doubt about that. Being negative in our political influence is slightly painful, but we'll work our way through that. And at this point, we're like four months away from getting this forum. Thanks to that setback. That's okay. We know we're going to need 600 gold and two granaries over here. We're still 520 days away from this becoming a city. So, no major issues there. And now we're about one month away from being able to construct our final forum here. That's phenomenal. Very, very glad to see that. We're going to be coming out of political influence debt very shortly. And there we go. We'll get that forum in there. Cool. So, this is all looking good. Now, in our missions here, we could bypass Granary of Contestania. 
I'm not going to do that. I want to do the Granary of Contestania, and then we're going to go down to Expand Trade in Carpetania. I believe that we can start working on these trade routes at this point, but I'm not going to risk it, I don't think. Well, we've got 400 days, but we're going to need 600 gold. I'm just thinking about how we're going to have that gold amount. Well, we definitely know that we need to build our two granary buildings here, right? So we're going to need more gold than that. How much are granaries? I think these are the, the cheaper value, like 70 some. So that shouldn't be too bad. That'll be like 140 gold. So this city is going to be producing us some manpower, which is good. We are working our way up on the manpower. We're no longer importing wine. Okay, sure. 18 gold for six stability and 5% religious tech investment. We take it. We need our stability to continue to come up. So that is improving these dwindling provincial loyalties. But they're not perfect, right? No doubt about that. Now we could go in and change these, which we currently lack the political influence to do that. But we could go in and change these into being like harsh treatment. So if we were to do that, we would go to here and that would increase the local provincial loyalty. That would probably end up doing the trick. We'd want to do that over here first, most likely. But what I'd really like is to just get our stability up. That would be the best way to do this. That would increase our population happiness dramatically by 22%. Our war exhaustion is now gone, so that's good. And we've now got about 200 days until this is ready to go. We're banking cash for that. And it's going to be a while yet before any of these guys actually rebel. So for the moment, I'm not that concerned about it. We'll put them on harsh treatment if need be. For now, we'll bank up the political influence. I believe in every single case here, harsh treatment would bring this around to being positive again. So for the moment, that's fine. We need to let our stability come up. What are these guys doing over here? Oh, they have a big old revolt. Well, good for them. We've got other things that we're working on. So, Granary of Contestania. Oh, hello. Untiring Devotion. Three more free stability. That is magnificent. I love it. Okay. What is this 0 0.81 here for minus 18.27? Oh, because we're 18.27 away from 50. I gotcha. That's fine. So our aggressive expansion is, of course, cutting this virtually in half, which is to be expected. This city is going to be founded in 50 days here. We have 358. Oh, hello. We can call down an omen. And I believe we're going to continue to go. We could go for the pop assimilation speed here. That might not actually be a bad idea. So that will work, our, work us through some of this pop assimilation here. Looks good. And none of these are currently in the imminently rebelling category, so we've got some time. That's looking solid. This is going to become a city, and when it does, we know we need two granaries. Cool. So we need two granaries here, and then by the time those are done, we need 600 gold. And yeah, those are 75.20 each. Now, we're probably going to delete these after we're done with this mission and build something else here. I don't know what yet. How are we doing on our research efficiency? I feel like we don't need an additional research city at this time. We've got this one out over here. This will become a research city. This one is currently set up to go that way. Although we may actually want to have it pop over to being a slave city. But I don't want to spend the gold on that right now. Spending the gold on that at this moment is a bad idea. We need 600 gold for this mission. So that's what we're going to get. We can put in a decision here. Abolishing social equity. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're keeping the social equity. Thank you very much. And that is looking phenomenal. So. These granaries are building pretty quickly. We're up to 400 gold right now. 
So we need, what, eight months? Yeah, eight months before we can finish that mission. Sounds good. So, this is at minus 0.12, minus 0.09. Oh, hey, civic advances. Cool. And this is in Maguna, or rather, Hiberia. This is in Hiberia. Okay, so we don't actually care too much about Hiberia. It's not currently disloyal. We'll send a representative to ensure rules are being followed. Cool. So there's our civic advance. Fantastic. We were working our way down the religious advances towards grain rations. And then beyond that, over towards obstetrics, I think. And bread stamp. Yeah. For now, we're to grab grain rations. So bread stamp is going to require... We only need one of these. So we would go to mass pewter production into bread stamp. And then over this way, it would be a lumen recording tradition into obstetrics and maybe even grabbing hand abacus into shorthand writing. That's probably not a terrible idea. And then we can come down this direction and go for things like Scribe, which would give us maximum research efficiency, which is pretty good. We can definitely do that sort of thing. There's also encouragement of migration over here. And we can certainly make our way that way as well. Okay, so we're going to have 500 gold here on this next month tick. So we're about five month ticks away here. And we're 100 days out. So we're going to be a little bit late on having the gold unless we happen to get some gold from an event, I suppose. That's a theoretical possibility. Wow, our Senate support is skyrocketing. Okay, I like it. Does tyranny affect our Senate support? No, it does not. Okay. Cool. Our AE is continuing to drop, and our stability is continuing to rise. So we now see... Yeah, there's a number of these over here. Omen power from religious advances. Cool. Okay, so we're now going to grab ourselves at this point... This only needs one of these. Sure. I still think that mass pewter production will be good. That'll get us integrated culture happiness. And we'll head down this way. And then we'll go down this direction. Sure. That seems reasonably fine for the moment. Are we ahead of time in our tech yet? Uh, we need to go here. We're only three years behind time at tech level five. Okay. So that's looking good. We're definitely catching up in tech. Magnificent. So next month tick, we're going to have enough to finish up our mission. And yeah, now we're showing risk of rebellion in 60 months from these guys. Fair enough. Let's take a quick look here. Yep, we're definitely going to do that. That is expensive, for sure. But now we need to expand trade in Carpetania. And we probably could have been doing this previously. I just wanted to be safe. So we need to do local import routes here. And we'll get that underway. We're going to need to make three of these. Cool. Beyond that, we definitely need... Right. This just will be done instantly. And then we can do this in a year. This will take 365 days, and we need 150 gold for it. For some reason, I thought that we needed two libraries here. Is that no longer a thing? That's a great temple there, which we'd probably want to go that route. Yes. Apparently, this no longer requires two libraries. Or no, we already built them, didn't we? Am I dumb? Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> fine. That's absolutely fine. We're going to grab more population growth here. Fantastic. An alliance offer from whom? These guys. No, we declined that. We don't have much of an interest in that one. Cool. So we're going to get ourselves another investment here for the local import route.
There we go. Commercial ventures are done. We'll need to tick forward until that actually goes away. On the month tick? Nope. Just kind of randomly. Okay. So we'll get that going, and I want to just double check that that is working. Yes, indeed. That's going to give us two building slots in our capital. Do we care about approval from oligarchs and Democrats? No. No, we don't. Cool. So we have a new leader, and Biatica needs a governor. We will put in this lady, who went on to harsh treatment. Which is fine. So that is, of course, over this direction. Uh, Biatica is... Here. Cool. So yeah, that's fine. This is going to be in 58 months now. I feel like that's not going down at one month per month. Yeah, that should be fine. In theory. For the time being, we'll see how that goes. And of course, we'll need to get our last provincial investment up here. That will allow us to expand trade in Carpetania. And then from there, the rest of these should go very, very quick. At this point, we can replace this stockpile. I don't care about that. The only thing that we need right now is Urbayaka needs to have, and that's up over here, needs to have a great temple, right? So we would need to put in a local city building slot or get more pops here. For the time being, I want to get this last provincial investment going here, and maybe we'll put in a non-free one in Urbayaka just to get that underway. That's probably going to be our best bet here, I think. Cool. So 28 April, sure, that's done literally right now. And we're going to get another one going. And then if we come out over here, 80. That's a lot. Okay. So we need a new governor over this way, and we will put in this guy, who is on acquisition of wealth. Okay. Probably not ideal, but that's fine. Hey, oratory advances. What do we got going on over here? We can grab glass blowing, which wouldn't be bad, but I think we're going to grab a lumen here. That gives us a free province investment, and that, of course, we'll use on a building slot right over here in Edutania beautiful. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I think it's very clear that we're going to have this all finished next time. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kintogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.